After replacing Ra, the deity who gave birth to the Egyptian world, Osiris became the new supreme god. He chose Isis as his wife and began a new and prosperous reign. Osiris showed civilization to men, who until that moment lived in a primitive way. The god taught them agriculture, weaving, and how to make bread, and also to use laws that would give order where before there was only chaos. Egyptian civilization began to flourish under the reign of the kindly god Osiris. But Osiris had a powerful and ambitious brother, Set. His kingdom was situated in the arid desert surrounding Egypt. For this reason, Set envied his brother, who had a fertile and prosperous kingdom. Osiris had an affair with Nephthys, Set's wife. From this union, Anubis, the god of the dead, was born. Enraged by his own brother's betrayal, Set set his revenge. The god of dry lands and the personification of evil invited Osiris to a great feast in his honor. During the feast, Set presented the guests with a beautiful coffin, showing himself available to gift it to whoever would fit into it perfectly. Osiris was invited to test it. Soon after settling in, Set closed the coffin and locked the god inside. The evil god ordered the coffin to be thrown into the river Nile, putting an end to the life of the lord of Egypt. Isis mourned the loss of her beloved husband. The tears flowed into the Nile River, giving rise to the traditional floods. The goddess and her sister Nephthys searched for the body of Osiris. After finding it, Isis tried to hide it. But Set found the body and quartered it into 14 pieces. The cruel god scattered the pieces of Osiris all over Egypt. Isis, with the help of Anubis, managed to recover all the pieces of her husband. Anubis united these pieces of the god and embalmed Osiris' body. With her divine powers, the goddess resurrected her beloved. But Osiris went on to reign in the world of the dead. After coming back to life, Osiris had a son with Isis. His name was Horus, who vowed to overthrow Set, the usurper of the throne that was rightfully his.